Hello, bonjour, bonsoir, good evening, good evening, guys. Uh, and this is another series that I was doing while I was in Puerto Rico. Oh, finally, I am back in the state, and then I am taking this opportunity to give you an update on what we were doing uh, in Puerto Rico for the seven days that me and my partner Justin were there. So, obviously speaking, guys, as you can see, I am in front of a an apartment, uh, not apartment, like a small little building, which is like a three apartment house that were on sale. And the realtor, we had a realtor who took us there and then we went to look at it. So while we were there, we were thinking of buying properties there so we can do the rehabilitation and then put them on the market and then rent them. So this is one of the things that we're thinking of doing because it was easy for us to get approved by the bank because while we were there, we did seek for some pre-approval. So we find a bank that was willing to lend us some money based on our like information we provide. Also, uh, usually those were preliminary information providing that whatever we said on paper that we were able to back it up. So which we can. So we had that letter of approval, so therefore we were able to go with a realtor to look for some properties. So the first one that it took us to look at, it is that property that you see. It is like a three family, uh, which is like two bedroom, one studio bedroom and two bedroom. All of them distinctly separated. Uh, it is already on top ship and there is nothing to do. It is just take ownership of it and then start renting it. So the price for this was not really that high. Uh, I think the guy wanted around like $220,000 for it. Uh, that was the asking price. And everything was there. And then please, you had the potentiality to even update it with, like if you want to put a second floor up there, everything, all the pipes, all the, all the wiring was already there. So you just have to go and then connect you don't have to go to the street and then to make holes things like that so that was how easy it was so we look at the potentiality of it and then me and justin we decided not to go for it so this is one of the little snip view of what we were looking at and this one is the three bedroom this is one the three bedroom and one bathroom and two bathroom uh, three bedroom one bathroom okay two bathroom Is fixing up here? Yeah. Um, they were like um, doing paint and everything. It's a uh, uh, half bathroom here. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the two bathroom? I don't know. That's half a bathroom. Half a bathroom so when you come. It's one bathroom and a half. Okay. And it has a kitchen. And that's the kitchen here. Yeah. The connection. Um, gas, them do, yeah. Electricity, everything else. The kitchen here. Yeah. Alright, kitchen, and then we have a family here um, that rented for fourteen years. Fourteen years. Yes, and they didn't leave. Um, so so yeah. this one is a. It's one bedroom. One bedroom, right? Yeah. That's one bedroom. This is the laundry here, with the connection and everything, with the water heater gone, everything. Okay, home here. Yeah. yeah, you put the gas. The gas. Yeah. And those are the other two, two bedroom. bedrooms. Yeah, with the bathroom inside. Yeah, bathroom inside. That's the master bedroom. And, and each one of them. Okay. Yeah. And each one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the bathroom here. Yeah. And then they have the heat. Yeah. Uh, 
you can you you have that heater, but you you can have uh, the other one. It's not connected. And they have AC for that. Yeah. There's AC up there. Yeah. And one of those bedroom. All right, and that's the closet. So this one has AC. Yes. Yeah. Shut down, and let me see the other one. It doesn't have AC, but you can put AC if we want, right? Yeah, you can, if you want, you can go there. So most houses in Puerto Rico built that way? Yeah, most, most of the houses are built this way. It is no shit rack. Yeah, and people like this. If because of the weekend? You won't, you won't surprise for the people that ran here. And like those these places. Why they like it? So, um, it is it's spacious, it's like quiet, the neighborhood is quiet, it's close to every um, small bar, it's, uh, it's close to everything here. Yeah. It is close to everything here, yeah. it's a really good destination. Yeah. Um, so, so I'll say, I have a teacher, Kapka de Kai, property investment, education, property land, to our apartment. Kila. Nous avons gardé le premier appartement, le deuxième appartement, c'est trois chambres, nous avons commencé à faire. Et ça, c'est là que nous avons parqué la machine. Et c'est le quartier, le quartier est réellement nice. Quiet, quiet neighborhood. C'est juste filmé. As you can see, this is one of the apartments that we look at. Uh, one of the house that we look at during our trip in Puerto Rico. This area called Levy Town. I think so, yeah, that's Levy Town, something like that. Uh, me and Justin, we did look at other properties, but this one is the one that in Levy Town that we did look at. And as I told you earlier, uh, the asking price was $220,000. And then we did look all the three apartments in there and then one of the apartments, the owner was still living in it, so we, he let us in there, so to look at it. And it is not like a premium apartment, but it is an average apartment for most people, like, I'm not saying lower class or middle class who can live there, because one of the apartments has AC, and there's potentiality you can put AC in all of them if you want, and if you want to upgrade, and for the asking price, there is not much that you would be doing if you were to buy this apartment, uh, this, this house, because most of them were already in top chips, so you just have to do a little bit of cosmetic uh, arrangement uh, to make sure that clean up paint and then change cabinets and then some of the bathroom needs, some of the bathroom need new fixtures, things like that. And I think that with a 10, 10 to $20,000 more, you could really do some proper update and then make sure that this apartment, uh, these apartments are ready for rental. Uh, for the asking price for rental, I was inquiring, they asked probably how like one of these apartment can fetch easily between eight to $900 a month. Uh, up to $1,000 a month. Remember, this is Puerto Rico. Uh, the rent is not really that high compared to New York City or any part in the states here. But it is kind of expensive. And then I have a look also about the minimum wage over there. And since that most of the uh, most of the company that I went and then check, even we're talking about uh, Burger King, McDonald's, when this 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 company pay like close to twelve dollars an hour, uh, those are probably the minimum wage over there. So I didn't really ask, but that's what I saw in the uh, hiring advertising that posters that they put uh, when you enter to buy food. So that's what it is. And then Uber, so a lot of people do Uber over there because uh, I had a chance to talk to them and ask questions. And you see, it is a very quiet no stress life, you know, very stressless, uh, so people enjoy, and then the weather, uh, it was like, oh, the other one is like an 80, it's like, <laughs> it was like 80, 85, 90 sometimes, and then people are very genuine, 
quiet and then welcoming. So uh, we did have a great time there. So this is one of the apartment, um, one of the house that we look at. And then stay tuned and then we will show you the second one. And the second one is a trip, so we will talk more about it. But that was the one that was in Lady Town. And then the realtor was very knowledgeable and then it is a young guy. It is an investor himself. And then we have his number. So we will definitely be in touch with him because we told him that we will be checking and then if he has any good deal because we told him specifically what we want and then if he finds something he could call us and then if needs be we will take a flight there to make sure that we go. As you saw guys I show you the letter of approval because there's nothing to hide. Uh, I always advise if you intend to go into investment it is always wise to go and get a letter of approval, a quick qualification letter from a bank. And then with this, you can show it to the realtor and then they will be more enticed to take you places because remember guys, time is money. So nobody wants to waste their time and then take in you, show in your places and then you have a really serious. So at least you have to show them that there is some kind of a commitment or at least you can back up what you want them to do for you. Okay, so that is one of the reasons if you are going to buy cash though so therefore you better come with something that can show them that you are serious um, it's not going to be a one shot deal that you just go there and you buy you have to do your due diligence you have to make sure that you know what you are getting yourself into too because even it is Puerto Rico it is a commonwealth of the United States uh, but it is still a distant country. They have their own rules, their own things. So therefore, when it comes to the local and the federal government over there, they are very strict. So you have to really do your due diligence and make sure you work with some reputable people that will not scam you. Uh, because scam is all over the world. So specifically, if you are a foreigner, you don't know the language. And then speaking a little bit of Spanish will help a long way. Uh, I do not really speak Spanish. I understand a little bit. I could say a few words, but I happen just to understand more than me. So it was more the one that was engaging in conversation with the non-English speaking people, people who speak, they speak, speak Spanish. So he was the one doing mostly of the conversation. But if they were talking in English, so therefore I could do it. So I did really enjoy that experience, you know, so that gave me a better understanding about real estate uh, because we are gravitated into doing international real estate, going to different places and then do investment. So this is one of the things that in my channel I'm going to be talking about mostly. I will be talking mostly about real estate, about financial things. So guys, please. But anyway, thank you for dropping by if you are a first comer and then for all my uh, supporters and uh, people who keep watching me. And thank you for sticking with me, guys. And as I said, I am gravitating toward doing more engaging videos. I uh, will be talking about real estate, about traveling, about investment, uh, things that will engage you guys, things that will motivate you, things that will encourage you guys to, to make the next step and what the hell you plan to do. And then please, let's, make, let's, let's take the journey together, guys. So thank you for stopping by, and then bye. And then, as you know, guys, my name is Franz Wolland, and it was truly a pleasure, guys, uh, spending this time with you. Bye. See you for the next video.